If I can, I can just have you sit on the curb right over there. You don't get to search me, bud. Why is that? Because you have no reason to search me. All I think about is my safety, you know what well, I mean? I'm thinking about my safety. I don't know who you are, buddy. Yeah. So All I think about all day, every day is my safety and nobody else's. Man, could you do me a favor while I'm talking to you? Could you keep your hand off your weapon for me? Just for my safety, would you do that for me? I'm worried about my safety right now. Do you understand what I mean? You got something in the car I need to know about? No. Can I see your hands? Can you put your hands where I can see them, please? Can you put your hands where I can see them, please? Where do they keep the, the uh, burner guns? Oh, I don't know. Ask them. The what? Burner guns? Throwaway guns that you can plant on somebody? Well, there's no such thing. We don't have burner guns. Okay. You don't have guns that you like plant on people after you kill them or something? No, we've never had a burner gun plant on somebody. Okay. Have you ever wanted to ask corrupt cops the same stupid questions they ask us? Where are you coming from? Where are you going? Have you had anything to drink tonight? Is there anything illegal in the car we need to know about? Have you ever wanted to give them the same directives that they give you? I'm gonna have you sit on that curb over there until I'm done with my investigation. I need you to step out of your car for my safety. Hey, the reason I pulled you over is because you were looking suspicious. Now I need you to keep your hands where I can see them. This video is intended to demonstrate just how silly it sounds for people to treat cops the way they always treat us. Hey, the reason I stopped you today is because I saw this car was unmarked. Is this a, a registered unmarked vehicle for undercover work or? Okay, you're not allowed to have patrol cars that are, that are unmarked. Are you aware of that under Washington State RCW? Mm, I'd have to look it up. But... Yeah, you really should do that. Um, so there's no market, there's no indication on this car. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your name? Canfield? Uh, Canfield okay, friends. Deputy Canfield. Can I see some ID? Can you see some ID of yes. me? Yeah, I need to yeah. make sure that you're... No, I, you, you need to prove... You're driving an unmarked vehicle, so I need to make sure you're actually a police officer and that you are... You have the authority to be driving this vehicle because you seem to be kind of doing something that's uh, clearly in violation of Washington state law. So I just want to make sure you are who you say you are, okay? So we're just uh, we're just out. We heard there's a lot of drug trafficking going on in the area. We've been getting tips from people. So we're just out checking on people. I mean, we saw that the stores closed down, so it was kind of okay. suspicious that you're just sitting here. We're just out investigating. Um, do you guys have anything illegal on you? I have a rider with me Okay. who signed a waiver, mm -hmm. and she's not associated with this at all. So, uh, what are you out here doing today? In the right now. Okay, where are you headed to? Going to work. Do you have anything illegal on you that I should know about? No, sir, I don't. Okay, you don't have any drugs or illegal firearms or anything in the vehicle? All right, would you mind if I take a look? Uh, I guess I would. If I if I can, I can just have you sit on the curb right over there. Who are you? I'm Detective Mike Jardine. Oh, yeah? What are you working on right now? Several cases. Okay. What, what is this about? Are you working on something right now? Am I? Yeah. Yeah, I am. All right, what are you working on? What are you working on? It doesn't matter what I'm working on. I'm asking you, what are you doing here taking pictures? Where have you uh, Where have you been today? Have you been here all day? Or have you been out and about a little bit? What is this about? Who are you? I'm, I'm asking the questions. Where have you been today? No, have you been I'm, here? I'm asking the questions. You're on this property. You're you're on this property, so you need to ask answer my questions. <laughs> are you drunk? Why are you slurring your words today? So have you have you been here all day or have you been out? Have you been to the bar today at all? You don't get to search me, bud. So I heard there's been a lot of drug trafficking going on in the area. So you know anything about any of the drug trafficking going on in the area? No, I have no comment, man. Okay. You know, talk questions like that, you can just call the public relations office up the, hot, uh, the sheriff's office. So you're not involved in any drug trafficking? I don't have any comment. Where, where are you actually coming from today? I'm here. I'm from here. from here? You've been here all day? Uh-huh. Okay, where are, you, where are you headed to right now? Back, back to where I need to go, back to the front of the building. Okay. Um, do you, do you have anything illegal on you, or what? Huh? I, I'm just asking. I don't know drugs, uh, weapons that you shouldn't have, or uh, no. No. Okay. Would you mind if I check, or? Man, are you crazy? No. Well, I, I, you don't have to. I'm asking. You don't have to say yes. I'm asking though. Look, no. I'm, I don't. I, I don't know what you're getting into or where you're going with this, but no. Okay. I, I'm just checking. I'm just trying to make sure that nobody's breaking the law. So, you know, there's there's no harm in asking. You got you, an idea on me? No, I don't. You got ID on you? I sure do. Can I see it, please? You want to see my... Yeah, please. I need to see your ID. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No problem. You licensed to carry that firearm? Sure am. Yeah. Okay. You do me a favor while I'm dealing with you. Can we go ahead and put your firearm up for my safety? Absolutely. 
No, I just need for my safety. I'm sorry. Can I see that ID though? I did. I, I needed to get closer to it, but I just showed. It. Well, I couldn't actually see it. I was trying to make sure that I was safe before we saw your ID. Safe. Okay. So you're licensed to carry that fire? I am, yes. Sir. Okay. For my safety, you don't want to go ahead and put it up. You don't no, want to have that respect for me and my safety. No, sir. Okay. Why is that? Because this is my duty. Bro. Okay. I don't uh, post this thing. I don't take this out unless I go into a jail. Okay. Uh, so I didn't actually see your ID. What's your name then? My name is Lieutenant Yont with the Collin County Sheriff's Office. Lieutenant Yont. All right. What are you? Uh, what are you out here doing today? In Rockwall. Right now. Okay. Where are you headed to? I'm going to work. All right. So can I see some ID and maybe license, registration, proof of insurance, sir? Yeah. This is my ID right here. That's not ID, sir. Well, this if I showed you a badge, if you stopped me, would you take that as ID? Come on, that's, that, let's be reasonable. Anybody can have a patch, sir. Okay, what about... This, can, I mean, is it a big deal for you to show me some ID just so I can make sure? I can show it to you. That'd be cool. That's all I want. I just I just like to make sure. Canfield GT51, can I see? Yeah, you can see it. You're not going to hold it in your hand, though. Okay, let me just get a close look at it there. It's fine. Does that match this? That looks, that looks legit to me. I appreciate it. I do. Mm -hmm. I really do. Driver's license? You got a driver's license, too. I appreciate okay. it. I appreciate the cooperation. Sir, please roll down your window. I need to ask you some questions. Please roll down your window, sir. Look, here's the deal, sir. I don't want to do this, you know, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. Look, I don't want to do this, man. I'm getting a little bit of a smell, a smell of marijuana. So if you could just roll your window down, talk this out, probably I'll probably just let you off with a warning, all right? What dogs are you going to call in? Well, you know, we just got a dog that's, uh, he's been certified by me to detect drugs. And you think a policeman sitting in a police car? Got any ID? Now, and I just, again, I just wanted to ask, you didn't ask the question, is there anything in this car that I should know about drugs, illegal weapons, burner phones, anything of that nature? <laughs> no. 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 I find this funny. No, I see what you're doing. You're trying to flip it around. Like, you're doing what we do. So you don't have any burner guns in, in the facility? Okay, how about uh, any illegal narcotics? Uh, everything that we've had that we've confiscated from somebody is in our evidence room and lockup. You don't okay. mind if we pat you down? Pat me down? Yes. For what purpose? <laughs> Check you for illegal narcotics and Check contraband. Okay. No, you're not going to do that. Okay. Hey, shut up and do your job. Shut up and do your job. Hey, if you've got nothing to hide, can we search the vehicle real quick and then you can be on your way? If we don't find anything illegal, well, no, you can be on your way. You're saying there's no drugs in there. If I check the vehicle, then we can walk away and we all know. You'll need to talk to the city of West Walkney for that. This is not my vehicle. It's theirs. You do have the right to consent. You do have the... Okay. You can go on your call, but you do have the right to consent. Would you like to or do you have something to hide? No, I'm good. Okay, something to hide? Okay, have a good day. Badge number? 2913? Hey, nothing. I was just wondering uh, what we got going on. Just waiting for radio calls. Waiting for radio calls yeah. on public property or private property. In the district of the 35th. Um, on private property, right? Right. You know you're not supposed to be sitting here, right? Okay. Do you work here? You know you're not supposed to be sitting here, right? All right. You know, technically, you know you're trespassing. Okay, so you don't need to be here. Secondly, is that a department issue phone you're on? What are you getting at, man? Um, you're sitting on private property. Oh, what's that? You got something in the car I need to know about? Can I see your hands? Can you put your hands where I can see them, please? What are you doing? Can you put your hands where I can see them, please? All right, I mean... Can, I, can you put your hands where I can see them? Thank you. Now, let me ask, I'm going to ask you a real quick question. You out of here? Huh? Do you need a police report? A police report for what? Do you need police service? Uh, uh, no. Do you need anything from me? I just need you to get off private property and not sit here no more. All right? Cool? All right, man. Have a good day. All right. I'm not out here to be a bad guy. You know, I'm just out here to up, making sure you guys uphold the oaths that you take. Right. You're being, you're being a weirdo. Why? Why? Because I'm doing. Why? Because I'm doing. Because I'm have doing a, something that's not common, day. right? Watch out. Am I breaking the law? I'm gonna get out of here. Am I breaking the law? Have a good Am I breaking the law? Am I breaking the law? Holding you accountable? Am I breaking the law? No. No. Okay. Hey, listen. 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 You be safe and you have a good day. All right. Is there anything? Is there anything in the vehicle tonight that I should know about? Any. 
No drugs, illegal weapons, nope. burner phones. Nope. Okay. You want you wouldn't mind if I checked then, would you? I I gotta go. You gotta go. Got to okay. All right. Okay. Where are you going to? So you guys don't take any of the evidence out of the evidence room and put it back into circulation? Everything is done above the top of the chain. I, I don't have anything to do. Once it goes in the evidence locker, that's it. Okay, so somebody might be reselling that evidence out on the street. It's being though, right? resold. What, what is your guys' purpose? I'm here? just asking questions. We're just asking questions. That's it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry if it made you uncomfortable. It's just we've got to investigate these types of things. I'm sure you understand. Okay. Um, you know, just trying to fight crime. You know what I mean? Are you stopping people in this vehicle? Yeah, I am. Okay. It's completely in violation of Washington state law, and you are culpable in that, the way the law is written. So you've admitted that you are in violation of Washington state law and that you are stopping people in this vehicle. So what I'm going to encourage you to do, um, I'm not going to I'm not going to write you up today. What I am going to encourage you to do to do is take this car back. <laughs> I know you're smiling, but but we the citizens do have a right to hold you guys accountable. If I'm an open violation of the law, I mean, I, I could I could call a sheriff out here and demand that you be written up for this because you are an open violation of Washington state RCWs. Okay. okay. So I, I, I just want you to talk to the sheriff about it. We have, there's a problem with this in Soap Lake as well. And this is why I'm bringing this up lately. I, I really want you guys to be aware of this. I want you to follow along. Do you understand the safety concern? I mean, let's say my daughter's it's 12 o'clock at night. My daughter's out driving around and she doesn't drive yet, but you get the idea. And, and she gets stopped by what is supposedly a police officer, but there's no markings whatsoever. And that's one of the main reasons you should not be stopping people in a car that's unmarked because that's when the safety concern really comes in. Somebody doesn't know if they're being stopped by a police officer. So understand that every time you stop somebody in this car, you are, you are in violation of Washington state law and you can't do that. So if we see you stopped in this car and, and, and have doing patrol stops in this car, we're going to have a problem because it's illegal. If you continue doing this, you could be arrested for that. I, I could be arrested for driving an unmarked car? For driving an illegal vehicle and refusing to comply? Okay. Are you uh, saying that if somebody else was driving an illegal vehicle and wouldn't cooperate, that they wouldn't be arrested? And how, how, so, how are you comparing? I mean, it's kind of apples and oranges. It's not apples and oranges. You're driving a vehicle on, on, on Washington State roads, on a Washington State highway, okay. and it's in violation of the law, and you are, you're accountable to the law just the same as, as me and anybody else is, you know? Okay. Who are you? I'm Detective Mike Jardine. Oh yeah? What are you working on right now? Several cases. Okay. What, what is this about? Are you working on something right now? Am I? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Alright, what are you working on? What are you working on? It doesn't matter what I'm working on. I'm asking you, what are you doing here taking pictures? Where have you, uh, where have you been today? Have you been here all day? Or have you been out and about a little bit? What is this about? Who are you? I'm, I'm asking the questions. Where have you been today? No, have you been here? I'm asking the questions. You're on this property. You're you're on this property, so you need to ask answer my questions. Are you drunk? Why are you slurring your words today? Is there anything in the vehicle that I should know about today, gentlemen? Any drugs or uh, illegal firearms? Anything like that? No. Well, um, I mean, do you mind if I check? No, absolutely not. Okay. So can we? Can I just have you step out then? And absolutely not. You just say you didn't mind. What are we doing back here? On private property. I'm sorry? On private property. This is the bank. I'm just parked up doing some paperwork. It's private, right? All right, man. Okay, so I'm, I'm asking you not to be parked back here no more. Don't let me catch you back here again. Do you have anything illegal on you that I should know about? No, sir, I don't. Okay, you don't have any drugs or illegal firearms or anything in the vehicle? All right, would you mind if I take a look? Uh, I guess I would. If I, if I can, I can just have you sit on the curb right over there. You don't get to search me, bud. Why is that? Because you have no reason to search me. Well, there was a guy actually who fit your description, dressed in a clown costume, okay. that was planting drugs on people out here in Rockwall. You know, when I see someone like yourself dressed in the same costume, you know, I figure, I don't know if it's some type of uh, organized gang that's going around doing it, but when you're wearing the same costume, you know, it's, it's pretty suspicious. Right. And, it, you know, if, if, if there's nothing to hide, I don't see why would, there would be a problem with me just checking it out. And that way, you know, me, the public, everyone has peace of mind that uh, you aren't going around planting drugs. I don't have anything that I I'm Well, planting drugs. then can I check? No, sir. Okay. You, you are more than welcome to look in my car. You're okay. Not, you're not going to search it. Okay. You can stand right there and look at Can I put the camera in there then? You can take a look, yes, sir. Okay. I don't want you to break the threshold of my door. Okay. 
What do you mean break? Oh, is that is that breaking the threshold, threshold here? Right so here, I just yeah. broke the. Yeah, that's called a search at that point. Okay. So I can't check out that bag right There's here. There's a computer in that bag. What are you working on? What am I working on? Yeah. What do I have to be working on? You should be patrolling the streets and not sitting on private property. That's okay. what you should be doing. Really? Okay. Thank yeah. You. Thank you for that. Okay. Okay, so as long as you here, I'll be here. Drive a shame, baby. So have you have you been here all day, or have you been out? Have you been to the bar today at all? Who are you? Have you been to the bar today? Who are you? I'm an investigator. Investigator for who? Investigative journalist. I investigate uh, corrupt officials. So I'm wondering, where have you been today? Have you been here all day, or have you been out at the bar at all? Working on a fraud case. That's okay. where I've been. Okay. Have you been to the bar at all today? No. Okay. You got any drugs on you? Have you used any drugs today? What a ridiculous question. That's not a ridiculous hey. question. Do you know where he's been today? Uh, I don't. <clears throat> I, no, I don't keep tabs on him. I've okay. Been on the about. <clears throat> Do you know what time his shift started? Uh, not off the top of my head. Okay. Um, does he usually drink on the job or? No. Not not that anybody knows of for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Have you guys ever breathalyzed him while he's been on the job? Would you would you submit to a breathalyzer for me right now? You're ridiculous. You know that? Same. You got about five minutes to get out of here right now. Or what? Or what? You're you're on my property. This isn't your yeah, property. It is. Shut the hell up. Get out of here now. What'd you say? I said shut up and get out no, of here. No, you get out of here now. Hey, you better get it. You better get your boy. Get your butt back in your office you and do your up. job. You shut up and get You out get of here. your butt back in your office no. and do your job. No. No. You quit drinking on the job. You understand me? Whatever. You punk ass. You get your ass back in there. You don't look back here again. I'll be watching you. You are now under investigation. How we doing today? Good, how are you? I'm good. Could I have you pull up into the to the grass area? This is kind of a danger being here in the just parked right in the middle of the road. What do you need? Well, I was just wanted to ask you some questions, seeing as you just parked here. I was answering a call. Okay. Okay. Could you not pull up into the side to do that over there? Well, actually, I just got a call. I've got a take. I drove through the area. Okay. I didn't hear any more. Okay. So can can I? Okay, I'll let you take the call, but can I get you to pull off onto the side of the road there? Well, sir, I have a call that I need to take that's requiring my attention. Right, I get that. Okay, if you have, if you need to talk to one of us, call Sullivan County Dispatch, and they'll get one of us to come and talk to you. But I have a call right now. Well, that I, I get that. I got a responsibility to keep the public safe, and you're parked here in the middle of the road. If somebody comes around that corner and they don't see your car. You could get hit, and they could get hit. Do you okay. see? You see what call I'm saying? Sullivan County Dispatch, okay? I'm telling I'm sorry, you. I've got a call that I have to stay. Okay, well you're dismissed, but go ahead and get out there. Get out of the road. Can we see? You want to see inside my building? Yeah. Body? Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. All right. Anything else in there? Uh, uh folder. Okay, okay, nothing else in the in the smaller pockets. I have some uh, some deals to hook it up to uh, computer cables and stuff okay. like that. All right. Would you like to see the back of my car? Yeah, yeah. You can see what all we carry? Yeah. I'll be more than happy to show you. All right. What we do. So these are all my tools of the trade. I have a ladder here. Mm -hmm. Uh, for searching vehicles. Um, I have a ladder for searching vehicles? Yes, sir. If we have to uh, make access into a tractor trailer or something high mm -hmm. that we can't get to just by jumping up or something like that, mm -hmm. it's a collapsible ladder. We have seals to search, uh, seals to seal up tractor trailers, <laughs> tools, uh, glass from our windshield, evidence bags, business cards. You want one of those? Uh, sure, yeah, I'll take one of those since I didn't actually get to see your ID. Yeah. I showed you. I know, but I was more worried about the, the firearm and who you are. You know what I mean? I gotta I gotta try to secure the, the uh, scene. You know what I mean? I sure do. So I have a plate carrier here in case we uh, need a rifle. Uh -huh. If it's a dangerous situation, a ballistic helmet, um, extra ammo, rubber gloves, camera 
camper here, change of clothes. Another um, another backpack, so there's no no drugs in there either. Change of clothes. All right. Toiletry items here. Should you get my deodorant? Face wash, Q-tips. Okay. I have a jack. All right. There's a tool kit back there. <clears throat> what else you want to see? Uh, this is where we store our rifles. Okay. This is where you uh, store your rifles? Yeah. Our, oh, okay, it's long. That rifle right, right there, if I had to get out and go someplace and we'll secure our rifle in there. Uh, OC spray, which I don't carry. Okay. Another vest for for when we have civilian riders come with come ride with us. I'd like to put them in a vest so they're secure. Can I wear that one while I'm dealing with you then? No, sir. In case. Okay. No, Just sir. for my safety. Oh. I, all I think about is my safety. You know what well, I mean? I'm thinking about my safety. I don't know who you are, buddy. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I'm not really that worried about it. Um, all I think about all day, every day is my safety and nobody else's. You know what I mean? Cleaning supplies and my jack stuff right there. Cool. Rain pants. Okay. What else you want to see? Uh, can we check the glove box real quick? Sure can. Binoculars. See some pills in there. Yeah, they're dietary supplements. Okay. Um, air fresheners, magazines, business cards, a watch, an earpiece. I see the, the pills. So those are dietary supplements? They are, yes, sir. What does it say on True there? True control. True control? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, a pair of leg restraints. Binoculars. Okay. What else? I, I, I think it looks good, man. Did I answer all your questions? Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, maybe you'll like some of my others. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. And don't forget to subscribe to my email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. That's highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel further, the links are in the description. Grab a hard hitting shirt, become a channel member, but more importantly, fight for your rights. Understand that you have rights, know what they are, and exercise them. If you don't exercise your rights, you will lose your rights. I'll see you in the next video.